Speaking of situational disabilities, we're going to talk about Alana Pierce. Can we at least so, have a uh, picture of Alana Pierce up while we talk about her? Because there right, are some we, of them. We we will we will bring it up right now because I asked about this and I uh, you know I said that you know uh, would 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 you and Chad said yes they would absolutely would. So, I like which, I like her and her dog so I'm down. Yes, yes. I, I mean I, so. Yeah, go ahead. She she was eye candy. She was brought on as eye candy originally for Rooster Teeth. And then she was on IGN for a little bit. Like she was just like an Olivia Munn or an Allison Hayslip back in those days. Oh, my lights turned off. Tires. Yeah. And I believe it, she also went on to uh, Sony Santa Monica and worked on uh, God of War Ragnarok as well. Mm-hmm. So uh, she does have a lot of ties and stuff like that. But uh, most recently, of course, the, 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 we already talked about this um, earlier. T- uh, uh, and it, it just basically everyone talked about it and everyone put in their two cents and stuff like that. So um, she basically said, and she was re, uh, she, she she talked about how uh, Elden Ring is too hard, right? Elden Ring is too hard, and how um, people will, people can't play games and yada 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 because of uh, disabilities, right? Whether it's hard disabilities, situational disabilities, or what have you, right? Wait, so, wait, um, wait, wait, I just don't know. So the situational disabilities is the first time I've ever heard this freaking term. Yes. You're talking about responsibilities. It's not situational disabilities. It's re- real life responsibilities, right? Like, yes. I'm just saying, like, uh, you know. So, right over here. So, this is the actual, uh, this is the actual chart from Microsoft Design Toolkit. This is their inclusivity uh, toolkit right over here. You got permanent, temporary, and situational, right? If you're blind, cataracts, distracted, a driver, and stuff like that. <laughs> Bartender? This one, is, this one is stupid right over here. Situation of disability to have heavy accent. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, uh, yeah. okay. I mean, d- d- do you guys ever, like, do you have an issue with, you know, hey, you know what, tried to do a voice command, I guess. Why is that in a freaking video game, though? Like. Yeah. It's sort of like, what, 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 what what's that? A, a family guy did a joke on this, right? Yeah. Uh, it's like, hey, Google, play the math mimsy. You want 300? No, I want the math Monday. All right, are you sure you want Google? <laughs> no, no, you want 300 with Gerard Butler? No, the math Monday. All right, we are going to play 300 with Gerard Butler. It's just like, it's, I, I just don't, I don't get it why either. I don't understand where hearing immediately becomes bartender and distracted driver for seeing. I don't get this <laughs> situational bartender. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, like, no. I worked in a strip club as a DJ for a while. You put it. You put it in your phone. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. You can't just drop that and not <laughs> elaborate on it. All right. So, yeah. um, uh, you work. What was it like? What was, How it, was it like? How big were the titties? So it was in Philadelphia <laughs> while I was in college. It was the la- my last two years of college, um, and I needed a nighttime job, and I did have a job on school property i was a uh i run the i ran the computer labs that was giving me like that was like you know helping me and i'm like i need a job i need a job that's overnight so i found uh, a, a strip club that i could work for as a dj because i i was like well i know how to do this i can i can mix audio blah 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 and so it was i was the like one white guy in the strip club as the dj um and I, I would make so many tips because they would come over, like the guys would come over and be like, okay, can you throw me on an EDM song that's at least 30 minutes long so I can, you know, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm all like, I gotcha. All right. I'm, I'm I'm down. We got this. So I'm like, all right, let's pull up some EDM. And then like the girls would be like, come on, man. I'm like, well, I got a tip and you got a tip. So we win win here. Like I, I I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you get two tips, but you at least got one tip. So I'm just gonna leave it be. And like I would I, like I think I got one thousand dollars one time to play like a thirty uh, a forty two minute song. And I'm like, Ooh. why do you need that long? And it's like, well, it takes me that long to, you know. And I'm like, <laughs> if it takes you that long, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, like, got, so, <laughs> like yo, man, man, take a Cialis like, or something and, and just like get her, it going. Like, 
for me, I'm like, yo, Tom, yo, uh, can you play me something that's like five seconds? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna play you the gong sound. Then you'd be done. Yeah, <laughs> All right, it's like, wait, the gong sound's not done yet. Don't need it. <laughs> but um, I like got desensitized to boobs at that point in time. I saw every size, shape. I saw people I never wanted to see naked. Uh, like, because like you know, sometimes guys are into some bigger ladies so some of the ladies were that way it was uh uh not a fully nude club it was topless only because mm-hmm. i wanted to be able to serve food so that great great lemon pepper chicken wings i'll tell you that they did actually have some really good food all right tom played the hamster dance <laughs> <laughs> um i i will i will write my autobiography at some point in time and i'm gonna get like i want to get um what is it uh patrick warburton to narrate it i want him to narrate it pick i like him Uh, yeah oh you guys get you get you guys have this him in the preview for soaring over in california too right yeah we do yeah okay i love i i i love him i love him but yeah, but going back to this thing, um, so basically she was talking about um, situational disabilities, disabilities, right? Talking about permanent. So basically saying, oh, you can't have, you can't play games. You can't play games if you have a two-year-old, you know, trying to stick a fork in a uh, power outlet. And um, basically, uh, I think what what people got upset over, it's the use of, of oh, it, the right? Term. Yeah, the, term. the use of the word disability. Because yeah. you could, if you just literally said, "Oh man, my life sucks. I have a kid right now, and I can't play games." That's every adult that had was playing video games before that ended up having a kid. Like, mm-hmm. and you know what? You yeah. split responsibilities. You go up to your husband and it's like, "Hey, watch this little fucker for a little bit. I want to go play me some Elden Ring, and I'll come back and suck you off." That's all she had to say. Yeah, but the thing is that she doesn't have kids, right? Yeah. Wait, what? Just, think, she doesn't have kids. Then what's she her situational ate- disability? Her situation is inability yeah. because she 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 can't pause the game. That's her yeah. the situation. Okay, so she, so she, what? You die. Go on. She, she used the kid. Okay, the reason why I think she used that compared to I I brought this up with you, Phil. It's like she could have just used someone rang the doorbell or oh I got a sudden diarrhea. I need to go to the bathroom. That that could have been used. <laughs> that, that that could have been a situation of disability. Like oh I this. My stomach ache is preventing me from playing the game. So that's a situation. That's fine. But the reason why I think she used the kid example, which I mean, I wouldn't have used that, especially now that I'm single. I wouldn't have used that example is because yeah. the she wanted to drive the point on the urgency to need to press pause. Mm-hmm. But then again, like I said, the, her point is sound. Her underlying intent is sound. It's just a term that she used that a lot of people got upset about. But uh, okay, th- as someone who makes gaming YouTube content, I like my message to current gaming YouTube channels or incoming YouTube channels: is like, you're talking to gamers. You don't need to use eloquent English language to get your point across to them. I would have said like, if I wanted to build the case of Elden Ring needed a pause button, I would say, "Hey guys, I think I Elden Ring Elden Ring needs a pause button because you know there's." There are things that there are emergencies that'll happen while you're playing the game when you're, when you're in the middle of a boss fight that really require you to pause. And then, then that's it. P- Phil, you also brought this up in your clip. I watched your clip. So that that's that's it. You, you get to point A to point B like this. What she did was like you go around and around and define it, defining different types of disabilities, which ended up yeah. she ended up stepping on a landmine. So whenever you're trying to make a point in gaming, you just need to you just need to cut to the chase go straight to the point the only time you need to get very technical about it is when you're talking about like game mechanics or game concepts when using the the game's terminologies that's about it yeah but so so, isn't it true for most from software games and stuff like that there aren't really pause states like yeah i I believe the only i think the only one they actually had if i'm not mistaken i have and haven't uh, here's the thing i've only played bloodborne and i've only played well i played dark souls 3 bloodborne and then i i beat an elden ring with the D, uh and the dlc i heard sekiro is the only one who had a pause button the actual one pause that's uh not necessarily like their canon because sekiro is ea and like stuff like that like it's that was like more of like a license not license but like they made Just, that for ea yeah it, it, it's not like 
they would consider a souls like game but it, yeah it is still from uh from uh from software so the thing is like if you die in the game right if you get killed off or whatever right you 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 have like you, i remember one time my wife called me over because uh she needed help with something mm -hmm. right and then uh i was playing online I got raided by an, uh, an, uh, another player, ended up dying, and then I came back, and I what did I do? I did, did I fucking get pissed off or anything like that? No, it's because your souls will be there, or your runes will be there when you go back. You can go pick it up, right? You can go grab it. And plus, it's just a fucking game, right? What's more important than your family, right? Like, like for, for instance, like my, my son is sick right now. And, and the thing is, like, if my wife would be like, hey, can you come in and help me? I'll just drop whatever I need. Or whatever i'm doing go help her is because i and the thing is i would never call like any anybody in my life that, uh, that uh, a situational disability and this also plays down the terminology of disability for people who actually have an actual disability right great we we met lila hart right like two years ago mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right she actually responded to this like from a person who actually has a, a, a legitimate disability this is this is fucking stupid you shouldn't have used this word yeah. and yeah. like look yes the word is wrong but the thing is, is she sort of doubles downs on it, like in a follow-up post. She basically said, yeah, I'm just using the terminology and this is what it's called. And it, it, it's yeah. been like that for, okay. for years, so I'm not going to change my terminology. Okay, if she uses it again that way in another video, I would say, yeah, you're kind of doing it on purpose. I, I would think that she learned from this. She's not like, you know, the average Disney wokey where they're doing it on purpose to piss people off. In her case, like, if she, she'll probably learn to not use that as an example again, but I've was, never was heard she, that was, term before. Well, well, her will she stop it. using the term? I don't know. I, I don't mm -hmm. know. Maybe she'll continue to use it, but she probably won't use it in such a way that it can possibly be offending to a great number of people. Fuck is wrong with that, Tom? It's Charger. <laughs> Misa gonna wear this. <laughs> Misa gonna wear it long time. Yeah, man. But yeah, so uh, see so, so right here. So not gonna lie, pause button will be clutch uh with Elden Ring. But dude, it's like fat people asking for an extra seat if it doesn't fit you. Don't do it. Well, those there's, there's gonna be those fat girls like, hey, I have a disability. I'm too fat. I'm too fat. <laughs> I, I, man. Okay, okay. I have to bring this up, and this is just gonna make everyone laugh. Let me let me find the. This is what happens when you're a theme park person and you have to look up competition, and you don't want to look up competition. But there's a channel and um, plus size park hoppers. It's called. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I feel bad for these people. I'm not going to say anything. Um, this has already been made fun of by a bunch of people. So I'm giving you guys a even uh, what was it? Tim the Tim Dallin show or Tim Dillon show did a thing on this. Let's bring up the channel. I'm going to share this. I feel bad. Um, I'm not shaming anyone. I'm a big person, but I also walk like. 10 miles a day and I still can't not be a big person. So someone tell me that I don't know what I'm doing wrong. If you have, if you have advice, um, let me know. Cause I, I like, I still just, just, that. just get out, just get on that. Ozempic. <laughs> um, no, I'm, uh, so here I'm, I'm, I, I'm sharing and this is so everyone can have a laugh and feel better about themselves. Man, uh, this is plus size park hoppers. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna play their videos. I'm just saying, like, if you think you're bad, uh, feel bad for yourself. Um, just go take a look at this channel for a little bit and feel better. I'm just gonna yeah. say that. Yeah, uh, it's um, um, it, it's it's pretty crazy that like I, I like a lot of people got super upset over it. Like, I, I, and I think it's warranted. I think I think the the terminology should be changed. I think the person who made this sheet right over here. Right, this actual uh, disability sheet includes inclusive Microsoft should be fired. Design. Yeah, they should be fired. Right, calling in heavy yeah. accent. Right, like it's like, hey, yeah, I, help me! What are you doing? What are you? What are you, yeah. what are you doing? The meaning, the meaning is fine. It's the examples they use that's not. The meaning is fine. It's like, what's stopping you from doing whatever it is that you're that you want to do it? Or the primary activity you're doing. That's that's basically the situation of disability. But it's the examples they use. That's what's yeah, like kind of downplaying the general term, the broad term of disability. So she yeah. took something that was very relatable that she could have actually turned down to a relatable statement saying, Man, like I am so bogged down with this, that, and the other thing. And sometimes, you know, you guys gotta go and like, you know, check the door or pick answer a phone call from something. 
I really wish I could pause it. That's a relatable statement to a lot yeah. of people. And that would have been fine. And she would have gotten sympathy. But then she used some woke term that 90% of people won't even know what the fuck it means. And then the other people, they're going to be uh, upset about it because they're actual people with disabilities. Like, um, it's just life. Life happens. Yeah. Like, once you get past 18, you have to deal with life. Yeah. And and, it, uh, and like maybe college, you can get away with dealing life with life. But, like, it happens. And that's the same with like invisible illness. I, I and the theme park side with the dad stuff going on, everything like that. The number of people that use the word invisible illness, I'm just like, okay, like I get yeah. it. Oh man, but yo, X Wing with the 10 super chat. Yo, thank you, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you. So, can we just be honest with each other and agree that Elden Ring is not for the casual gamer, bro? Def definitely not for a single mom looking to fill their time. It's a gamer's game, yeah. Yep. Uh, it, it took me what 56 hours to beat both the DLC and the standard game. And the thing is, I had a lot of help with, had, uh, yeah, with, a lot of handicap. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 you know, I use all the summons I yep. can, I use all the cheat strats I can, and I actually had an actual player help me play the game, like yeah. beat, basically fight the boss, even though the boss is going to be harder. It's just this game, we don't want normies to be able to play this game, right? If you are, if you want to, you know, have more accessibility to playing the game, put actual time, set time aside to play it, right? If you have kids, if you have like a two-year-old, no, my, my son, he's almost two, right? He He's going to be two. He's gonna be, he's already walking around and asking me for stuff and stuff like that. And he, he's being loud and stuff like that. I'm When I'm going to be, when am I actually going to play a game then? When he goes to sleep. Yep. Be, being a responsible adult is considerate situational responsibility i think that's sh that should be the new term whoever at microsoft probably some woke person needs to get fired yeah for that, this. that's actually that's probably the better term that Re remember time management is it, time management is racially charged term remember that you know that's a time <laughs> management and the size of white power so like you can't have good time management you can't it's it's not uh i i don't know man i I did. I had, I worked two do jobs in college. Still played Call of Duty Four. Still got through my classes with A's. Like you can yeah. do this. Like you do not need to be like. And I'm sorry. There are times I've played Elden Ring, and I can just be like, "All right, I'm not listening. I'm watching. I got, and I can still do a call, or mm -hmm. I can still do something else. And yeah. that's why, like, I end up. I did end up getting one of those PlayStation portals because guess what? I gotta go do something <laughs> in another room. I take it with me. I I'm legit <laughs> contemplating if I should get a PS4. <laughs> like I like, like literally like oh I gotta make dinner. Okay, I'm yeah, gonna it's take so it easy with to me. shit on it because of um like yeah it's just a, it's, a, it's basically a streaming device. But now that I think about it, it's like it's like you it can works. Access your PS5 on a go. Yeah, it it's works better than uh because I have a backbone too to play games in the park. Like I'll play Fortnite on my phone in the park if it's a bad day. Like and I'm just gotta kill time. And so I have one of those. And I'm like, nah, the portal is like, you get their haptic feedbacks, you get the things. I'm like, damn, for two hundred dollars, like it's really a, it's a nice screen. It's mm -hmm. like it's and, and uh, like speaking, of, like controllers are now almost a hundred dollars anyway. It's like, all right, so I'm paying a hundred dollars for a screen. Cool. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I, I think people that that pooped on it that's one they wanted PSP Go three or PSP three or Vita two. It's like. It's not that, but it still works great in my house. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I'm watching your stream situationally disabled. Man. Wait, wait. So is that just a can that be a new term for being high on situationally disabled? Yes. Anything like, can be it, it. I have a raging yeah. boner. Situational yep. disability. <laughs> that, that, that's true. That's true. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.